Mm. Yep, that's a cow with a sinus, but the cow who has got a sinus is the one I am about to react to. It is the one, the only insufferable Olivia Wilde. Are you prepared to shriek in terror? I know I am. Well, space fans, exciting news, huh? And there's even more in part two. Hello, this is your television speaking. Let's push the button marked idiot and see what comes out. And remind the world, and specifically our daughters, that we aren't so easily manipulated. So here we have two days ago, October the 18th, Olivia Wilde at the 29th annual L Women Hollywood in Celebration Awards. In other words, an excuse for slappers or tarts or sluts in inverted commas to turn up in next to nothing hanging off their skeletal frames and to give empowering speeches about what it's like to be a woman in hollywood how oh, we're so ostracized by the patriarchy and uh, funny enough that p word actually does crop up here i think maybe uh, twice maybe three times a lady but in the case of olivia wilde she is no lady she's only made one good film that i enjoyed which was book smart and since then she's gone to do woke rubbish like uh, don't worry darling and it seems there's a lot of behind the scenes shenanigans not just with the male stars but with um, Florence Pew 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 as well so without further ado now normally at this stage when I react to a woman with a low cut frock I'll be like whoa look at those tits in the case of Olivia Wilde, I'm not sure if they're even breasts. They look like monstrosities from hell. I mean, that's just something you probably find in a Silent Hill game. But just going back to this video very quickly, look at that ratio. 691 downvotes compared to 60 upvotes. You know what? I'm going to add to the downvotes already because this is going to be god awful. Let's hear it. Oh, wow. Kate Berlant, you absolute genius. Thank you for that introduction and for being here. Which I'm glad we missed. You, to me, are the most exciting artist working today. You defy categorization. You are singularly brilliant. You are fearless and bold. You are unmatched, Miss Berlant. And I spend most of my time trying to come up with ideas good enough to pick. Most of my time? Also deeply loving and kind and warm. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. thank you for making the world a more interesting and human and hilarious place. And I, I can't believe I liked Olivia Wilde in the OC back in the day when she was snogging Misha Barton's face up. But look at that skeletal frame. Hey, you know what, Olivia? I can give you the phone number for Just Eat and get yourself maybe a couple of uh, Big Mac meals to stuff down your very fragile frame to go with your fragile ego. But let's just carry on. I can't think of anything more important or valuable right now. So thank you, Kate. And I'm here tonight because the wonderful Nina Garcia graciously did me the honor of adding me to a truly extraordinary list of women who have not only inspired me forever, <laughs> um, forever. Catherine um, Bigelow. Who have forged the very shape of this industry through their hard work, bold choices, and resilience. So was your bold choice, Olivia Wilde, to have an affair with Harry Styles while you were still married or actually partnered with Jason Sudeikis? Yeah, how about those standards, Olivia? How about bringing back some uh, moral compassing to Hollywood and to entertainment in general? I guess not. I am gobsmacked by this moment. I'm deeply grateful for the support that it represents. We are up against a seriously massive force of opposition that has for centuries tried to rein us in. And when one of us steps back, we all step back. She's, of course, talking about the patriarchy. I've got news for you, Olivia. The patriarchy ain't going anywhere. <laughs> so no matter how much the patriarchy relies on us to cut each other down in order to weaken our collective power, we have to resist the urge to play by their self-serving rules. Mm, and that's why we've lost another female prime minister today. Well, actually, another prime minister who happens to be a female. Oh, Liz Trust, 44 days in office. Holy hell, man. That's actually even shorter than the original conservative prime minister who served 118 days in power back in the 18, 1900, no, the 1800s, wasn't it? And uh, that was a very interesting statistic. And um, again, why we will not get 
a female POTUS because you get a woman in power at, at uh, 1313 Pennsylvania Avenue. I'll tell you what, you're going to have to start um, <laughs> building those underground bunkers quicker than you thought you would. Oh, this down with the patriarchy shit. You know what? The more I hear this, the more it just incenses and enrages me. Remind the world and specifically our daughters that we aren't so easily manipulated. What, what, what about our sons? How about our sons, Olivia? What, why is it just our daughters? Are you going to raise your daughters to be an insufferable cow like you? Probably. I feel energized by you all and I feel motivated to keep fighting through the hellfire. Wait a minute, does Olivia Wilde actually have daughters? Let me check that. In some ways, the challenges are all a part of it, right? Real badges of honor, just par for the course. Let's face it, you are not a woman in Hollywood until you've begged <laughs> Unless you've uh, transitioned. <laughs> Placed into a medically induced coma until your press tour is finished. Until then, you are just a woman residing in or around the Hollywood area. Yeah, it's really weird. It's almost just like she's taking a stab at uh, the patriarchy once again. You know what, folks? At some point in the future, we may go back to having based women like Kelly LeBrock. Now, why do I mention her? Because this weekend is an 80s weekend for me, baby. I'm not watching just Weird Science, but Ferris Bueller. Bueller. I'm looking forward to recapturing my youth from 1986 and 1985 respectfully. I can't wait to do that. And oh boy, man, you know, I think the thing I like about Kelly LeBrock as well, she's a proper based woman. You know, if this were the 80s, we wouldn't see these god awful uh, grandstanding speeches on a podium. And it clearly, if you look at Olivia Wilde's composure, her mannerisms, she looks really uncomfortable. I mean, the days where you kind of get a very empowered woman who stands there and starts shrieking her head off. Yeah, I'm thinking about Angela Bassett from Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever. You know, that level of cringe. And you got it right here. Again, in one of the worst effing outfits I have ever seen. That should be, that dress should be resigned for Elizabeth Hurley. You know, a woman who's actually got boobs uh, or Gina Carano for that matter. In fact, I'd rather have Gina Carano in this dress than Miss Wilde. She's not fit to wear it. She's not fit, period. She's got skinny arms. She's got a really weird concave face. And clearly, I mean, all this is a backlash about what she's alleged to have done or has done uh, behind the back of Jason Sudeikis one of the funniest men in Hollywood. I mean, she has an affair with Harry Styles while making this film move over, darling. And a quote that I heard this week where every male director who commits a crime um, is seen as the predator. Well, Olivia Wilde is just proving that if you're a female behind the camera lens in Hollywood and you start preying on a young, desirable man, uh, does not make you a predator as well? I'm just saying, you know, this is the narrative going forward. I want the good old days of Hollywood again, folks, like Kelly LeBrock, like Jennifer Connelly back in the day, man. Those days, those glory days. Um, I'd even say Brooke Shields, man. If, you haven't, if you've never seen Endless Love or The Blue Lagoon, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, folks, if you enjoyed this cringe speech from Olivia Wilde, putting down or attempting to put down the patriarchy it ain't working and it's a message that will never work because we haven't got time for this bs make sure you leave a like below make sure you slap that subscribe button like it was the sagging cheekbones of olivia wilde and if i were you and if you were me i will catch you on the next video little maniacs like to do first.